Hey go hey, what's up? Yo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia. If you're seeing me for the very first time, if you're a tiny subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? I miss the Siva. Like I miss being in this position. If you know, you know, this is the OG seat, okay? This is my makeup room. This is my makeup setup. Um, I haven't been in this seat for a second because I broke my actual makeup filming camera. That is besides the point. I know that's not why you're here, but let's get into the video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face makeup look using um, a couple of new products that I have, but then also showing you a few of the updated steps that I do with my makeup process. So I hope that you enjoy and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, we're a little closer get into the skin okay also my husband just started vacuuming i don't know why why i have probably members like this i have no idea but if you hear any noise in the background that's the reason why or that's what he's doing so yeah okay so i'm gonna start off with my primer from tease cosmetics um i have used this a few times it's actually really nice it's more like a moisturizer i'm not gonna lie look at the texture that you get with this I'm just gonna use that to prime my face. Let me just say that under painting is literally my love language when it comes to makeup right now. I understand under painting. I understand the concept of under painting. I feel like it's exactly how your makeup should go. But who am I to argue with what you're doing with your makeup, right? Like do whatever you wanna do with your makeup. So I'm gonna start off with my contour. I am using Thread Beauty. If you've never tried Thread Beauty, then I don't know what you're doing. So if you haven't already tried Try Thread Beauty products, then definitely grab some from Target because they have pretty much everything. They have such a wide range of products for dark skin girls. So you will find something for you no matter what like shade you are, you will find something that works for you. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna use um, the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. They sent me this concealer, it's amazing, okay? Let me just say, if you're looking for something full coverage, try this out because it's like really full coverage. And if you're doing a full coverage type of makeup, I would say that definitely try under painting um, with your full coverage looks because they will give you a much more seamless type of blend. One thing with makeup is you don't want people to see where you're starting or where your blending process starts and ends. Like you don't want people to see hash lines. So if you're the type of person that struggles with like blending in general, I would say that definitely try under painting because it is a technique that you know will blend your products underneath before you have to put on your foundation and all of that. You guys already know it's really good. Try it out if you haven't. If you've been in doubt, you're missing out. When I tell you guys that this concealer is full coverage, I'm not even kidding. Like it is full, full coverage, okay? And I see why people don't do underpainting a lot because you gotta trust yourself enough to do this. Like you gotta trust yourself enough to look this crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my contour brush and just clean up the edges. Make sure that everything is like nicely blended. I have a new blush from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Hydromaniac Blush Glow Hydrator. That was a long thing to say. You guys see what it looks like? It's beautiful. Like it's juicy. It's hydrating. I love it. Okay. Okay. And I know right now there's a lot of like makeup tips and tricks and placement and whatnot i'm still very old school when it comes to my blush it gotta be on my cheeks okay like when i smile you have to see my cheeks blushing like they have to be glowy red like you they have to be on my cheeks like i'm not gonna place my blush anywhere else other than like in this position with foundation i'm gonna go in with my favorite buddy okay lancome tian idol this is my old girl she's like literally my trusted foundation i do not go without this foundation is what i'm trying to say and i usually just like to place this in like areas that i haven't actually put concealers and stuff like that and so i'm using two brushes if you see what i'm doing because 
I put the foundation on one brush and that brush has way too much foundation that I need right now. I'm just using another brush to like sort of like buff it out and then another thing with underpainting is all the areas where you have too much product like you have too much concealer too much contour you can use your foundation to very easily cover it up so that's why underpainting is actually good for beginners because that way your foundation is covering up all the messes that you did with your blending so and then i'm going to take the beauty blender that i used to just go over my under eye because i'm about to set with some powder and you don't want to set into creases that is key you always want to make sure that your under eye is well blended and not creased before you put powder i'm going to use some laura messier setting powder to set my under eye and then i'm going to go ahead and bake with some translucent powder from hyde this is their translucent powder and honey always always keep my baking right here i don't like drag it out because i feel like that's a little too much for me i'm gonna set my contour with fancy beauty this is their pro filter powder in the shade ebony okay now i'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and then i'll come back so we can do the eye look okay okay my brows are done pretty bold i know but today's a full face day so we're gonna go with it i'm gonna use the same concealer to just prep my eyes So for palettes, I'm going to use this palette from Iconic London. It has quite a number of shades. So I'm starting off with this brown shade right here. I'm just going to use the brown shade as my outer V shade. Kind of like my smoky shade. And this is kind of like my signature eye look. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And then I like to just sweep that right in my inner corner. Um, sometimes I would do it in reverse. I would use the white and then blend it out with the brown. I usually like that process, I'm not gonna lie. And I love this iconic London palette because it has pigment, okay? Even the whiter shade or the, like, the lighter shade will still show up on you really nicely. It doesn't have so much fallout. It stays in place all day, like I like it like i really do like it so now i'm gonna go back in with that same brown shade and this is where the magic is going to happen not so much of magic i just like it when colors come together really beautifully okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use it in that same area but this time around just making sure that i'm measuring both colors and then also cleaning up the white making sure that that white is nice and clean and merged into the brown just with perfection look at that as compared to that so that's what I'm talking about I do have like an open eyelid area like I have a big space where I can play around with colors and I like for my eyeshadow to sort of like sip into my eyebrow blending just so that it looks like it's a uniform situation going on there I love that i feel like i mastered my face and i do what works for my face i'm not gonna lie so okay so now i'm gonna go in with the same brown shade and i'm gonna use that for my lower lid i'm also using a flat brush for reference i'm using a flat brush this is going to help you apply that color even easily just so that you're not getting the color into your eyes and like getting teary and all of that i'm gonna use a black pencil for my waterline eyeshadow is pretty much done and then I'm gonna use some mascara from Il Maquillage. Absolute fave right now. I can't get enough of this mascara. You guys see what my lashes are looking like? I put on some very different style or type of lashes today. Let me show you, this is what they look like. It's meant to be like cut-eyed and wispy. I don't know if it's giving that effect. In the mirror, it kind of looks weird. I'm not gonna lie. In the mirror, this one is like kind of crooked. Not even like, just like the way the hairs on the lashes are placed is just really weird. But I like this one. I like this eye. This eye is definitely giving that effect. Let's just say that the look is looking okay. I like how everything is sitting. So I'm gonna up the blush 
I can use the same blush, but I kind of want to go more orangey. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to use my Fenty. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. I'm going to use that. I'm going to set my face with some Juvia's Plate Powder. This is in the shade Zambia. And then I'm going to use my cream highlighter from Ciate London. A few of the products from the Europa that I'm loving, okay, is... Ciate London and Revolution Makeup, Revolution Pro, oh my goodness, like their products are just mmm because this highlighter literally excites my soul, like it excites my soul to put on this highlighter, it is so gorgeous like what? <laughs> it is so beautiful, it is like, I'm a lady, that's what this highlighter is giving uh, the face is pretty much done <laughs> last step i'm gonna set my face with the urban decay all nighter setting spray i'm such a gloss girl i cannot help it so i'm gonna top it up with some gloss and if you're wondering this is the maybelline lifter gloss this is in the shade Topaz. It's literally my go-to. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so this is the finished look. I absolutely love it. This is literally my signature eye look. This is the eyeshadow that I would run to if I don't know what I wanted to do with my eye look for the day. Um, but this is also my take on full face makeup tutorial, okay? I feel like this is how your full face should go and should be done. Underpainting for me is key. It helps you to look flawless every time. Like it eats every time and I'm here for it. But this is not for me. This is for you. Comment below. Let me know if you like this tutorial and if you want to see like more of this type of videos please comment below let me know if you have any type of makeup tutorials that you want me to film i will but this is the finished look i absolutely love how it turned out comment below if you have any questions um any concerns my jewelry is from amazon i will leave a link for you guys down below my hair as well is from amazon and my lashes are from shein just in case you're wondering but thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope that you liked it and if you did give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that and follow me on all social media platforms akusia benhini across all socials i love you <laughs> i love you guys okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye